Hello, welcome to another video. Now, if you're just beginning differentiation or taking derivatives, a question like this might throw you off. And if it throws you off, it's because you really didn't perfect your pre-calculus or your algebra um, two skills. Because if your algebra two or pre-calculus was good with logarithms and um, exponents, um, this shouldn't be a problem because you know, every time you write a radical function, you can rewrite it as an exponential function okay and if it's expressed as an exponent then there's something you can do about it so the first thing you want to do is try to rewrite the right hand side as an exponent so it's easy for you to differentiate okay so let's start with that So I'm going to say for this problem, y is equal to, this is going to be x, and remember if it's a root, it means it's 1 over whatever this is. For example, if I told you cube root of x, you could write it as x to the 1 third. So now that it is the natural log of x root of x, I'm going to write it as x to the 1 over the natural log of x. Okay, so I have rewritten the problem. And now it looks like this. Um, the work is easy, a lot easier. Is there a way to simplify this? Yes, there are many ways to simplify this. I just want you to know that this expression actually is e when you simplify it, applying whatever skills you have. But just to save time, we want to take the um, once. Now, is this a power? Can you apply the power rule to this problem? The answer is no. Remember that if a constant, say b, is raised to power x. Because the exponent is not a constant, you can apply the power rule. So do not do this. Let's say I give you y equals b to the x. Um, don't say that dy dx will be x b raised to power x minus 1. You can't do this because the exponent is not a constant and the base is not a variable. Okay, so this only works if you do y equals x raised to power b. You can see that the positions are switched and now you can say that y prime is bx raised to power b minus 1 because this is a variable and this is a constant. So this works, this does not work. And that's the situation. It's even worse because now we have a variable raised to a function. So a function raised to a function. If you've seen my other videos, I did explain that when you have a function raised to a function or a constant raised to a function, as long as the exponent is a function of x itself, you have to introduce logarithms, okay? Natural logs would be your safest uh, path to follow. So let's apply that here, introduce natural log. So we're going to say take the natural log of both sides. Okay, so if we take the natural log of both sides, we'll see the beauty that we get. Let's get rid of this. We take the natural log of y be equal to the natural log of x raised to 1 over the natural log of x. Okay, and we can apply that rule that we know you can move this exponent back here. So it's going to be 1 over the natural log of x multiplied by natural log of x. Okay, ah, this is beginning to look interesting. The natural log of y is equal to well, this natural log of x can cancel this natural log of x, and you get 1 here. So if the natural log of y is equal to 1, what is y? Well, you can take the e of both sides. So we know that e to the natural log of y will be e to the 1. I'm going to continue my work here. And what do you have? Well, this is going to give us, this would take this out, and you have just y is equal to e to the 1, that's e. Oh, so y prime is e, because the derivative of e is still e. No. If y is equal to e, what is the derivative of y? Is it e? Or is it 0? <laughs> yeah, this is where some people get stuck, okay? It is not e. The derivative of e 
is zero because e is a number is a constant so the derivative of a constant is zero so we're going to change this to zero okay but if this was e to the x that's when you say the derivative of e to the x is e to the x but y prime equals zero that's the derivative and that's the answer to a question I hope you learned something in this video. A lot of pre-calculus or Algebra 2 knowledge here. It's not, it's actually, this is the only spot where we apply something with derivatives, okay? Everything else is pre-calculus. So clean up your work, uh, get what you need to learn, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, never stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.